Hello, my name is Sergio Martinez, and today I'll talk about the lack of entertainment here in the Valley. Um, living here in Bronzeville has uh, been has made my life a memorable one and an exciting one. You know, like as me, I know most of you uh, live here in, in Bronzeville or throughout the Valley. You know, um, having living here next to Mexico has made our culture a, a unique one and one of a kind. Um, however, many people are starting to um, get bored of this and because of the fact that there's nothing to do here in the weekends or special occasions. Um, in the last few years, I've seen many people fly or move away from the, the valley due to the fact that there's nothing to do, you know? Um, according to the Texas Demographic Center, with continuing urban growth, the state's major metropolitan areas can expect better employment, prospects, and greater access to a wider variety of goods and services. Adding to this, the future of Texas population will increasingly be located in or around its main cities. That's caught my attention that young, young people are starting to leave their valley because um, they would like to go to a bigger university or live in a bigger city, you know? Hearing things, hearing negative things like Bronzo is boring or there's nothing to do in the valley has made me want to do something in order to change this, you know? My goal for this speech is to inform you and, and persuade you about the importance of employing our community, you know? So first I'll talk about my two problems and then I'll talk about the causes that have led to these problems and propose my two solutions. Um, so now I'll start talk by talking about my problems. And my two problems are not having enough things to do and people moving on for injury. You know? So for problem number one, not, not enough things to do is one of the big ones. You know? People are starting to get bored of not having anything to do. When I hear things to do here in Bronson, I think of just going to the movies, going to the mall, going to the beach, or just going to bowling, you know? That is some things. But whenever we have finished this and we have done some of, the thing, of these things, what is there else to do, you know? What, are we, uh, what else are we gonna do? So th these are the things that are making people wanna move away from here, you know? Um, and we focus on young adults. Uh, it's not enough for them just like going to the movies or going to the beach, you know? Um, they're more attracted to festivals, they're more attracted to clubs, they're more, uh, you know, all those things are important for them. And in order, in order to do so, um, something that makes people say all of these negative comments about Bonza is that, you know, not having anything to do here. So our second problem is people moving away from our cities. Um, people are starting to move away from our cities because of the fact that there's nothing to do here and we don't have enough jobs, you know? Um, not having enough jobs is making them um, move away and that's something that's starting to worry me, you know? So another thing that has impact uh, the second problem is our education. People are starting to move. I've heard many people and many um, students here in, in school is like, uh, like say, well, I'm gonna go to UTSA because our education program is better and whenever I graduate, I'm gonna have a, a job secured, you know? So that's some of the things that is making people leave our cities, you know? So now, um, I'll talk about the two causes that led to these problems. And the first cause is not having enough jobs, um, restaurants, bars, festivals, or just things to do, you know? Um, not having anything to do in, in the weekend has made people want to go away, you know? They're, they're starting to get bored. Um, how, we, um, how can we prevent people from staying all these things? Well, the problem is that people are getting bored of those things, you know? Uh, due to the fact that there's nothing to do here, it's something that's making them say all of these things, you know? Um, there's nowhere to go eat, or the movies, well, we just went to the movies already, you know? These are some, some of the things that have um, led to these problems. So our cause number two is not having enough jobs, um, the lack of ed education we have here, Nothing uh, or nothing to do here in the valley. Um, aside from lack of entertainment, there is uh, not having plenty of jobs is also a great cause to why people are fleeing our valley. I personally heard in school uh, um, students are saying, "Well, I'm gonna leave, you know, because of our university. There's bigger, bigger and better universities over there. You know, we see Austin, we have we have UT, we have a and All of those big schools are trying to attract more of our students. You know, so we we shouldn't let this happen." Um, According to the week, 
According to the week, freely now at migration is a regional flow training system pushing some young people to stay and others to go. Teachers, parents, and other influential adults cherry pick the young people destined to leave and ignore the ones most likely to stay or return. Um, so these are some of the things that have led to these problems. So in order to stop these problems, um, I would like to propose two solutions in order to um, improve our community. You know, our solution one is um, having a, a plan with more restaurants, clubs, parks, and festivals. So in my solution, I would like to propose that in order to not have anything to do, we, will, we start building more restaurants, we'll start to be uh, build more theme parks or just bring more festivals over here to the valley, you know. In order to do so, we need the lack, we need some sources, you know. We lack of money, we, we, we need those, we need the money in order to build these things, you know. So how are we gonna convince to, um, people that can have the money to do these, you know. Um, we need to convince them that we're capable of uh, raising our community and improving and innovating our community, you know. Um, for, this, for this problem, um, I, I would like to choose the most important part of this problem, which is the historic part, you know. Uh, historic part is here in downtown. With all the history made, um, these streets have been through a long time, and having like more restaurants, innovating our streets, um, building more shops, hiring more cl clubs, and things like that can bring people to, to the valley, you know. Um, make people want to stay here. Um, whenever we get bored of it, or whenever we get bored of the movies or anything, this can be a way to solve this problem. You know? um, our solution number two is having more jobs. Um, if we want to stop from people from leaving our cities, we need more jobs. You know, we need better education. Uh, we need more things to do. You know, we need to convince our young adults to stay here in the valley. Um, more jobs. If if we make our solution number one come true, um, building more restaurants, clubs, or just parks and themes and festivals, you know, um, can bring our more jobs. You know, and whenever we graduate, whenever we are done with school, we, we look for a job. You know, um, not enough jobs like teachers or many other things are starting to make people want to go away from here. You know, um, if we talk about education, um, we don't have enough. Uh, university or college kids here, you know, are one of the most important ones is UTRDV, you know, so if we improve our education, people are wanna, will want to stay here in the valley, you know, and that is important for us. And with this being said, I hope after listening to this speech, um, you will now understand the importance of improving our Rio Grande Valley community, you know, throughout, throughout my speech, I talk about the two problems, some of the causes that led to these problems, and my two solutions, you know, this can get um, rid of this, you know. So, um, with the people fleeing our cities, um, cities throughout the Rio Grande Valley, we should worry about stopping this issue, you know. Um, we need to work together to build this great future ahead of us, and this should be one of our priorities. Um, we should convince our young adults that we have the tools necessary in order to be successful here in the valley. Thank you.